Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review. In my last video where I talked about how to escape heat in the summer while living in a van, I mentioned an ice maker. So I am going to be doing a review of this portable ice maker. I think it's an amazing item, an amazing product, especially if you are mobile, if you live off grid, if you live in the van or an RV, um, it can serve it can it have so many different things you can use it for, so I think it's an amazing thing to have. Especially if you cannot quite afford like uh, the Matic fridge, they're like six or seven or eight hundred dollars. I think the prices are going up a little bit. So if you can afford, you know, spend seven hundred bucks on a fridge, having a nice maker is pretty good. It's it's a good option to have, that's for sure. So I am gonna be doing a review of that. I do have a few disclaimers. I want to. Uh, out there I have I was sent this ice maker for free from the company they sent it to me to review um, they're not paying me this video is not sponsored um, they're not paying me to say anything they just want me to have it and try it out and review it so I've been messing with it for about three weeks now I've been playing with that testing it out and uh, I gotta say a little sneak peek I like it <laughs> I like it a lot so yeah, I'm not getting paid to say anything, they just wanted me to review and give my honest opinion. So I am going to be giving you my honest opinion, pros and cons of everything. Um, I don't want to uh, lie to you guys and jeopardize the, you know, the, the trust that I have. Um, even though it was sent to me for free, I am still going to, you know, say my honest opinion, whether I like it or not. Disclaimer is out of the way, and uh, yeah, let's just... Get right into it. So first things first, um, I'm not going to be doing an unboxing because I already unboxed it and been using it for three weeks, so it's going to be no unboxing. I'm just going to show you how it works and show you the actual unit and then talk about it and uh, tell you my honest opinions and thoughts on it. So first I want to talk about is the uses of it. Obviously it's an ice maker, so the first obvious use would be you can make ice and put on your drinks to have cooler drinks. Personally, I prefer cold drinks myself. So uh, whenever we don't have space in the fridge for to put like my waters in there or my vitamin waters or whatever drinks I have, having a nice maker helps a lot because I can just stick my bottle in there and keep it cool that way, or I can just put in a cup of in a cup and put ice in there to cool off my drink. So that's an obvious use right there. The second use you can do it for is to cool yourself off. So if you're in a desert, let's say Arizona or Nevada, and it's super hot outside and you can you feel your body getting too hot to the point where you can kind of overheat, having the ice, you can put it inside like a towel or a t-shirt and put it on your neck or kind of on your head, on your body and cool yourself off that way. It would have been very useful for us when we were in Akatia. It was very, very hot in there. It was 100 degrees or higher and there's one point where Jed was getting way way overheated after riding his motorcycle and having an ice maker would have helped a lot because I could have just used the ice and put it on him to cool him off so that would have been a lot better keeping yourself cool is another option another thing that you can use it for if you cannot afford the fridge because uh, we have a Dometic fridge it's like six or seven hundred dollars so if you cannot afford that but you still want to have a way to cool your food and keep your food as long as you have a little cooler what you can do is you can make your own ice and put it in the cooler or you you can you can even put like drinks inside the ice maker on its own so that way you don't have to keep buying ice every few days because it will get expensive if you uh, want to save a little bit of money and don't have to buy ice you can have an ice maker and you can use it for cooling yourself up and keeping your food cool and putting you know have a nice cold drink so that's another option what we um, want to use it for is our Dometic fridge, we can set it to be a freezer so what we're gonna try out because uh, we do have a little cooler what we're gonna set our Dometic fridge to be a freezer and then use our cooler to keep our food cold and gonna put the icing ice in there so we haven't tried that out yet but we will uh, hopefully soon 
so we're gonna try that out so if you do want to have a freezer in your bin and you already have a Dometic fridge you can also do that and uh, be that way so yeah there's a lot of different uses that the ice maker is good for and especially if you live in a van or a V or off grid situation I think it's it's pretty unique just because you live in the van doesn't mean you can have uh, you know a normal household amenities you know when people think of van life they think of like compromising a lot like oh we can't have this because we don't have enough space or whatever it might be but living in the van is just like living in the house like I have electricity I have a bed I have a bathroom I have a kitchen I have a fridge I can cook here anything I need is in this van and having an ice maker is pretty cool as well so it's not uh, a thing that you absolutely need to live in the van but it's kind of cool to be able to have a nice maker in your van right just because you live in the van doesn't mean you can not have regular household amenities like everybody else does those are the things that you can use it for and now I am going to show you how it works and tell you all the specs so here's the ice maker we still haven't found a place to put it like permanently but so far right now I'm keeping on my little bench it looks pretty neat I like the way it looks it's not too bulky it's not too small it looks it just looks like a nice appliance. I am running it off the Kodiak, by the way. Here's the Kodiak. It tells you how much power it's drawing. If you are interested in this, I have videos about it. I'm going to link them down below and I also have a coupon code for you for that. So yeah, here's the ice maker. So here's the button. So uh, you turn it on. It has the uh, light right here. It's telling you that it's running. Uh, th these two lights then the power light then this light will turn on to let you know that the ice is full so once it fills up um, down here it will let you know if you're low on water it will um, turn this light on so it's gonna stop working on its own once the water is too low or the ice is full which is amazing and once the ice melts a bit it will start working again and then you can open it um, you can open it while it's running which is kind of cool and then, let's see if I'll be able to catch it. So it's making the eyes down there and then it pulls it down here for you. the back of it so here is the vent so you do want to keep it open um, usually I don't keep those pillows down there and then here is the all the information for it the model is AI 250W so the working current is only 2.25 amps which is not a lot at all and um, it takes I think around 300 watts so as long as you have an inverter that can take around 300 watts or more you can run it it doesn't take a lot of power which is amazing so here is the light so right now it says add water so we're low on water and it shut off so this is amazing so it will let you know let's open it we have a bunch of ice and then it also comes with a little scoop over here so you can use the scoop to like scoop it out yeah it's it's pretty neat and then it also has this window so you can actually see from the outside so it also has um a drain plug over here so whenever you want to drain it or full of water or clean it you can just take this plug off and it will drain the water and that way you can clean it overall would i recommend it yes i would i think it's an amazing machine it works great i haven't had a single issue with it for the last three weeks the one thing that i love the most about it is that it doesn't take that much power so usually regular home appliances can take a lot of power and when you live this lifestyle you don't have unlimited electricity i mean you kind of do because you have solar if you have solar but at the same time you're limited to how much power bank you have and how much your inverter can handle so the fact that it doesn't take that much power and it makes eyes fairly quickly i think 
it takes about five to maybe eight minutes something like that to make the first batch the fact that it doesn't take that long to make um, ice it's amazing the one thing that I wish it was I wish it was just a teeny bit smaller I understand the need to have space for the electrical stuff and then for the water tank and then where the ice is I get it and I'm not sure if it's even realistic to make it smaller it's it's not huge but it's also not very tiny so if you live in the smaller van you might want to like consider where you can place it but besides that i think it's an amazing machine it has the safety features it will tell you when you need to add water or where you have too much ice the fact that it will stop making ice when the ice thing is full or when the water is low so the the pump doesn't break is amazing so yes i would recommend it i am putting a link down below for you to check it out yourself and you can do kind of more research in it if you like to i think it's an amazing amazing machine i also have a coupon code that you guys can use if you like to purchase that everything is going to be down in the description below and in the pinned comment as well so if you are interested in purchasing that you will have a coupon code so it, the price will be a little bit lower for you this is it this is my full review i really hope you enjoyed it and uh, i hope you uh found a little bit of value out of this i think it's a, i definitely think it's an amazing machine and uh hopefully some of you can use it and find and find good use for it in your van life nomad off grid life thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it once again don't forget to hit that like button down below don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're new to this channel welcome to the even though family we're pretty cool here so definitely don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and once you click the subscribe button definitely don't forget to click that bell notification so you get notified when i upload new videos that would be very helpful to me and i really appreciate you for that and leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about this ice maker this product uh let me know if you think it's a good product to have uh if you live in the van or an rv just just talk to me in the comments i love reading all of your comments and i appreciate you leaving comments and talking to me because i really i really like it anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one Thank you.